Welcome to Kellyanne Cares, a one-of-a-kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you personally and professionally. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm an entrepreneur, patient advocate, content creator, and author. You may know me from the Everything is Messy book, brand, and podcast, but what you may not know is how hard I had to work to get me to where I am today mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And in this season, I'm more driven and extremely passionate about my purpose to help you save the time, money, and energy it takes to be happier and get healthier with your mind, body, business, and life. Tune in every week to hear raw, unfiltered conversations from myself and my incredible guests as we discuss trending topics, share stories of resilience, and chat about all things health, wealth, healing, and wellness. Whether you're here to listen, learn, or laugh, I promise to bring awareness and add more value to your day. Take this time to relax and recharge. Listen, life is short. Invest in yourself. Be loud. Be different. Be you. And most importantly, enjoy the ride. Buckle up because today's podcast experience starts now. One more thing. Sharing is caring. I would love your thoughts on today's episode. Head on over to Apple Podcasts to rate, review, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Want to continue the conversation? Let's connect online. You can find me at kellyannegorman.com and all my social links are in the show notes. Now let's get into today's show. Hello, hello. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Kellyanne Cares Podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman, and you are listening to my solo episode number 324. Now before we get started, does that sound familiar to you? Yes, it is my iced coffee. I am severely caffeinated today, which I need to be because I'm in the middle of moving. And by the way, those hummingbirds in the background that you will be hearing a little bit, they're making their last appearance. This is my last solo show I'm recording in my office space. Last night, I made my last meal preps because I'm moving in four days and I'm going to get into that on today's show. Last night, I finished doing my laundry. So it was my last time prepping, my last list of laundry. Today is my last solo show and it's just kind of really hitting me today, which is crazy, but I cannot accomplish anything in my day without my super coffee. Super coffee is organic. It has L-theanine, which is a supplement I used to take before I found out it was actually in the grounds. And it keeps you calm and focused. And we all know that I need that because I do a lot. And so do you. And if you're into vitamin B and D and having organic, good for you coffee with no added shit in it, super coffee is exactly what you're going to want to try out. And if you use my code super Kelly, that gives you $10 off. There is even a free trial pack you can get. All you need to do is pay the shipping. But if you leave a review for this very episode and tag me on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever you follow me online, and let me know that you left a review, I am going to give you a case of super coffee for free, your choice. So you get to choose from my variety espresso packs. You get to choose from the ground variety pack, which comes hazelnut, mocha, and vanilla. You can even do the dark roast, which I give my friend all the time, and the plant drinks the plant why am I drawing a blank the plant based drinks um come in vanilla and caramel and all different flavors and I am obsessed with them there's a sweet cream one too if you want to win a case of super coffee your choice for free just slide into my dms on any platform where you follow me and let me know which one after you tag me after leaving a review over an apple podcast and that is just my little gift for you I'm going to to be choosing three people this week after episode 324 goes live. So before June 1st, actually, let's just say June 1st, I will. Oh my God. June 1st is, oh my God. June 1st is right around the corner, obviously, because I'm moving. Um, I'll give you until June 1st and I will pick three winners and I will send you a case of whatever you want from Super Coffee for free. So go ahead and leave those reviews on Apple Podcasts for this very episode. Let me know what you think about it once you're finished listening. Tag me online, slide into my DMs, let me know what case and it is yours. So let's get into today's episode. All right, you guys. So a couple weeks ago, I did a show all about manifesting more out of life. And basically, I was talking about this new um, 
condo, like apartment studio situation that I wanted so badly. I found it. Like I went, I did a walkthrough of one that I definitely couldn't afford, but it was across from a beach that I go to all the time. And I was just curious like what it looked like inside. And that's how I came across this other place and it was not advertised anywhere. I'm like, Oh my God, this is a perfect gem. So I started parking there. Meanwhile, it's like an, a mile and a half from like where I am now. Okay. Perfect moving situation. And I am a professional mover, so this is going to be really easy. I've already been packed up for like over a month and I'm ready to go, but I just need like the physical location and that's like the big joke right now. So what I was doing was I was parking there and doing my workouts from there, going to the beach, acting as if it was already mine. Well, guess what happens in life sometimes? Shit falls through and manifesting doesn't always work out. In my book, I write about manifesting and visualizing and all about trusting the universe. And this is real life. So I'm going to share with you what is currently happening in my life right now so that I can share like what happens behind the scenes. I'm going to be doing more solo episodes like this. So let me know your two cents when you're finished listening. But you know, there's something I've ever held back on with this show. And I wrote an email out to my LinkedIn newsletter and my personal email list all about rejection as well, which I'll get into next. But when manifesting doesn't work out, when you can almost taste it and feel it like this is going to happen and then boom, it doesn't happen. You just need to trust the universe. And if you're not into the woo and the crystals, you need to be because this is the only way shit works out. And it's not just you manifesting and daydreaming and thinking thinking things will work out. You need to consistently put in the work. Nothing is going to come to you without putting in consistent work. I promise you that. If, it, if you have a life where that happens, good for you. I'm so excited for you, but that's not always the case. So the universe has other plans. And I realized after that the train was actually too close and that's not good for somebody that's running an audio business. And I don't know why that didn't cross my mind. And then one night I was sleeping with the window wide open. I'm like, this is a first floor place. Like, I'm not going to be able to do that. And so all these things like started coming to me. I'm like, how did I not notice that? And I wouldn't have, that wouldn't have been a great place for me. So the universe pivoted and decided that I need to be somewhere else. And I'm moving in four days and we still do not do not know where that place is going to be. Am I a little bit stressed? Yeah, but I know that something's going to work out. If I have to throw my stuff in storage for like a month until I find my, I'm not going to settle. That is the, that is the moral of the story. I'm not just going to go somewhere because I need to go somewhere. I'll travel. I've been looking at places on Airbnb, which by the way, they jacked up their service and cleaning fees so much, which is not fun. Um, so if you're somebody that likes to Airbnb it, please make sure you look at those prices because it almost doubles the price. So I'm thinking of other things to do this summer if I do end up traveling, but I just had to pivot. And the universe kind of forced me to do that. And I'm excited about it. Something is going to come my way. It always does. And if you believe it, it will happen. And you just need to consistently visualize like what it really is that you want. Like I started looking at these other places. I'm like, that's not what I want. That's not what I deserve. That's not what I've already designed in my mind and on my Pinterest boards. And that's just not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is the place is going to come and fall into my lap or I'm going to see it driving and that's the place that's meant for me to be living. I'm not about to sign a year lease for the first time in years that um, I don't love. And that's just that. Like, I'm just not going to do it. And that may seem awful, but I've been through hell and back in my life so many times. This is like my fresh start, new beginning. And I'm so excited about it. And I started designing like what all my rooms would look like, you know, like the kitchen, my office, everything like that is what is going to come to me. Whether it's in San Diego or another area, that's what I want. I do want to stay in San Diego. I have decided that. For a while, I was looking at Portland. I was looking, you know, in different cities in California. And everybody keeps asking me, am I moving back to Vegas? And the answer is absolutely not. No, 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 no. I do go there every month and that's just enough for me. And I just could never live there again just because of everything that happened to me there. Like when I hit like a three or four day mark, like that's it for me. I got to go or I start like my PTSD will kick in and I start feeling sick again. So besides all that, let's move back into my manifesting and how it didn't work out. 
you just need to consistently put in the work, continuously do the things that you know are going to get you to exactly where you need to be in your life. And again, that's with your business or your personal life. But when it comes to my dream place to live for the next year, or maybe even longer, I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep visualizing it. And wherever that may be, hopefully as closest to the beach as I am right now, it's going to work out. And if I move in four days, it's literally just going to be a couple carfuls, maybe three or four in my car, and I'm done. And then I just go shop and get like everything that I want that I've been saving on my Pinterest boards. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to share with you because manifesting doesn't always work out, but you have to continuously and consistently put in the work so that Everything will come to you from the universe because it's pivoting and it has other plans for you. Imagine if I was in this new studio and all of a sudden I realized the train keeps going by every 15 minutes. Can you imagine for the next year? I don't know why I didn't realize that. I think I was just so excited because of the location and how cute it was inside. Like even though I walked by the train every day, like it literally did not like Result, like it didn't make sense in my brain. It didn't even hit my brain. So thank God for that. But I wanted to move into rejection next because I've been getting a lot of messages about this rejection newsletter. And I also did a bunch of TikTok videos. I think it was like a three-parter talking about rejection. So a couple of months ago, I knew I was moving, right? Because Elise is up here. And I wanted to kind of do a couple different things in my business and pivot my brand and separate a couple things. And I decided I wanted to bring all of my experience and expertise and everything I've taught myself since 2017, launching this show and developing others to a network. I want to create more. I want to create on a larger scale. I do the jobs of like six people and I know that's intimidating, but it's just, it's easy for me because it's what I've always done and I've always had my hands in a lot of other projects, but it's not normal to find somebody that's hosting, writing, recording, producing, developing, doing the back end, doing the commercials, doing demos. Like I do all of that and I enjoy it. Like I seriously love developing podcasts because It helps people to share their story, get in front of a global audience, and also expand their brand if that's what they need to do. When I first started this show, it was because I was sick and I wanted to help other patients, but then also with business and LinkedIn because that was my focus. So the show has never been about one topic, and I don't think it ever would be. I don't think I I could ever just do a show with one topic. (laughs) Hello, have you met a Gemini? Um my clients do, but not really just focusing on one. And I think that's the great thing about podcasts is that all different listeners can come to your show whenever they feel like listening to specific topics. That's why it's great to like organize series if that's something that you're into. I've done so many different series and it's easy because you just organize them on your site so that people can find if they only want LinkedIn, if they only want podcasting information, if they only want patient advocacy series or the medical malpractice series, like it's easy to find. It's easy to search in these podcast apps. But I wanted to bring everything that I knew to a network. So for the first time in over a decade, I put together a resume. Do you know how hard that is? Um, Over 20 years of experience doing a million different things from like being a pro makeup artist to luxury travel to having luxury experience brands to podcasting to writing a book to like literally everything I've done. You, I'm sure you know what I've done. To one page, like that was seriously the hardest thing ever. But I did it and um, very humbling. I sent my resume, you know, I live on LinkedIn. I have a million um, different reasons why, which I'm sure you know already. If you don't, scroll back to the LinkedIn episodes or follow me on TikTok because I have a ton of um, content over there. But I sent my resume to over 100 jobs, all different, all different categories of podcasting in the podcasting departments, basically everything that I, I just told you that I do, all different jobs. Some were overseas, some were here. The only one that actually was considering me was one that I didn't even, um, I shouldn't have even applied for it, but I was like, fuck it, let me just do it to see. They were the only ones considering me and that was in Tokyo. But I don't know Japanese and I don't, you know, I don't speak the language and I don't know the Japanese market when it comes to podcasting. And there was, those were two obviously huge qualifications you need to have, but I just said, fuck it, let me do it. And they actually considered me. <laughs> Back in this country, I didn't even get one interview. Not one. 
I got a shit ton of downloads to my podcast. I got insane traffic to my LinkedIn. I got pitches to my show. But what I did not get was one interview. And I was so shocked. And people, like the closest, my closest friends in my life, I'm telling them and they're like, what? Like how? And I'm like, they're looking at all of my stuff. They're finding me online. I'm like, my whole life is on the internet. I'm not too hard to find any kind of information out about. I'm an open book. Like I literally said that, like I've been saying that for years. So the universe had other plans for me. Um, I finally decided that I needed to stop that project because it just didn't make sense. And new clients were coming my way and I started writing more for clients, doing their commercials and producing more. I'm developing more shows. I'm only taking on one show to develop each and every month because it's just such a huge project and I'm incorporating like a lot of monetization now. And so that takes even more time because I just want the shows to be the best that they can possibly be for my clients. So I halted that process, I think two weeks ago. I was like, what? I mean, when you hear no over and over and over again, like 117 or 119, I'd have to look at my LinkedIn, was the amount that I've sent my resume to. Not one person gave me a two-minute call. I've been pitching networks to develop podcasts for them that they only have a couple shows, but they have no um, department. Like there's actually no podcast development department. So I was pitching them to run it. And no answer, like literally via LinkedIn, via applying for jobs, via hitting up their HR people. Oh my God, allergy cough. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I said all over social, sending the messages on Instagram, like every way to connect. Oh, their website multiple times. Not one answer. So for the networks that have social teams and you don't answer DMs, you are missing out on opportunities. Let me just say that. That is facts, not just for me, but just so much more that you can, that can come your way to grow your own brand. So then once again, my manifesting did not work out because I swear I was going to work for a network and there, I had four in mind and then I, one dropped out because they had something happen in the PR department. I was like, mm, I don't think I need to be a part of that. So then it was down to my three. And I realized once Netflix just laid off about 200 people, that could have been me. And when you get no's repeatedly, I mean, that is a lot of resumes to be sent out and a lot of cover letters and a lot of time spent. But I was like, I want to work for a network. I want to bring everything that I have, everything I've taught myself to a larger scale so I can create bigger and better shows. Well, that that's not my reality. That's not going to happen. So I had a serious conversation with myself, like I usually do, and how to figure out, like, why didn't this work out or not even figure it out, just figure out what's next. Like, this wasn't in the cards for me. My dream place fell through, my dream job fell through, and I'm like, do I want to work for a corporate company? Like, I've been an entrepreneur, I think, for 12 years now, and I'm like, well, really, since 2006, but for the last 10 years... Um, no, 12 years. Yeah, it's been 12 years. I don't know if I could do that. But in my mind, I thought I could and I was so focused. And maybe that's why it didn't work out. And maybe they're afraid I'm going to steal their clients. Maybe they're afraid I'm overqualified and they can't pay me enough. Maybe, but if you don't give somebody a two minute phone call, how are you going to know? So for all of you HR <laughs> People on LinkedIn, I shouldn't say people, professionals, like you need to do a better job. I Not even just for me, just from a lot of my friends that got laid off during the pandemic. Like I just, I experienced it for myself and I've been experiencing another situation that my friend is going through and I'm like, this is just not good. And I feel like I should do another episode on that, like a little mini episode. Maybe actually I'll bring it in an HR exec because I would really like to hear their side because sending a resume that many times is just like too much. But you know, I'm extra anyway. Please hold coffee break. <coughs> coffee break and allergy cough. This is going to be unedited, by the way, because I have a lot going on in my life. Anyway, going back to entrepreneurship, the reason why I do what I do is, well, first it was because I had no other option. And then second, 
I have the time, all the time and freedom in the world. If I want to wake up at 4 a.m. and bang out my work and have the rest of the day off, I can. If I want to work overnight, I can do that too, which I would never do. Well, sometimes I pull an all-nighter, but I have the time and freedom. That is why I do what I do, because I want other people to have the same. I want to help you in your business. I want to help you in your personal life. Get what you deserve. Get what you're working your ass off for all these years. Like get a different piece of your life that you've been craving. You know, I think a lot of people realize that during the pandemic. And with this big move, like I'm thinking about adoption again. Like, should I go through that process again? So, you know, I obviously sat down in the sand, feet in sand as always. And I just had to like reflect, like why this rejection? Like, why isn't this manifesting working out? And it made me realize that I need to be doing more for more of you. So I looked at all of my programs my business, LinkedIn, and podcasting and coaching programs and decided I wanted to do more. So what I did was I added more value to each program. So start your podcast today and leverage your LinkedIn today are obviously podcasting and LinkedIn programs that you can invest in. And they're ones that you can do on your own time. It's not a large investment. And it's if you want to learn how to launch a podcast, but you just don't have a big budget for me to do the whole production, you know, the whole development, or you honestly don't have the time. You're slammed at work. You have a family. You have like shit going on in your life. You're like, but eventually I do want to do it. So that's the program that you would want to want to invest in. The same thing with Leverage Your LinkedIn today. Same format. I've designed them the exact same way for these courses for you to go through on your own time. But also what you do get is audio, video, written coaching, more one-on-one with me as well. So I added more one-on-one calls. So with those two programs, you go through on your own time, but when you need me, we have an hour call. I added more hourly calls. So the value has increased. The price is the same. When it comes to monthly production, I added more shows to the original price. When it comes to your podcast production, which is my done-for-you podcast development program, I actually incorporated more shows for you to launch with as well as commercials so that you can start monetizing from the very beginning. I think that's really, really important. If you're not monetizing your show, you need to basically contact me today because it's all fun and games. That's great, but time is money and you're investing time into your creative project and outlets and pitching people and bringing guests on and producing, you need to be making money and you need to be making it passively. I just did a ton of videos on this on my TikTok. And then with my brand new summer coaching experience, it's the on-demand summer coaching experience. I realized I launched this May 1st that so many people contact me for little things. Either they need an expert coach or they need a virtual assistant, just like technical shit or writing skills or social media help or funnel help or LinkedIn help. And I'm like, you know what? I need to do something for the summer, May, June, July, August, throughout the whole summer or even into the fall. I think I might just keep this a program where I can be like in your back pocket. So if you just need a coach, you need somebody like a mentor or you're like, fuck, I don't know any of these technical skills. I I don't have the time to YouTube every goddamn thing. So let me just call somebody really quick or voice memo somebody really quick. That's what this program is all about. It's the on-demand summer coaching experience. My one hour calls are over $300. You can have me in your back pocket for one month for $297. But obviously the summer experience for four months, I launched it May 1st, but you start it. The four months starts the day that you sign up with me. It's under a thousand dollars. It's nine ninety seven. You cannot find a coach for that price. Like anywhere with the amount of value. I always over deliver. You can look at my reviews all over the internet. I am a big fan of over delivering. I just, I love what I do and that's why I do that. And I want to make sure you love what you do because if you don't, then you need to change that and love what you do in your home as well as your business and your career, period. So 997 is for four months of me helping you in whatever it needs, whatever you need done. And yes, I could just say LinkedIn. Yes, I could just say podcasting. Yes, I could just say meal prepping. But I'm available for whatever you need me to be available for you. 
So it's up to you. If you want to invest in a program that's going to get you exactly where you want to be now, I don't mess around. Time is money. There's no time to be wasted. If you want something out of life, go and get it now. I've been saying this for years. It's what I'm doing now, although I do have to be a little bit patient because I, but at the same time, I have four days left to find my home. (laughs) But I practice what I preach. I can tell you that. But I wanted to create something that was affordable. My one-on-one coaching for 30 days is five figures. Like nobody has that kind of money right now. I mean, some people do, but my clientele, like they don't want to, that's like, you know what? That's like a whole nother episode. But anyway, I wanted to put more value into everything that I've already created, which by the way, needed to exist. I developed podcasts because a program needed to exist. I've been asked so many times over the last couple of weeks, like, how did you get into what I do? what you do. And I'm like, well, long story short, (laughs) I launched my show in 2017 when I thought I was going to be blind and paralyzed. My voice was the only thing that I would have to make money. And then I launched my show and then I realized I wasn't going to be blind and paralyzed. I shared my whole life on the show. And then everybody else online asked me how the hell I did that. And I created a program that needed to exist. I say a little bit differently every each time, but basically, you know, the story, if you're new here, that's the story. I create things that need to exist. I create things that people keep repeatedly asking me for. When somebody keeps asking me online for help, um, let me put together a program. (laughs) So that's why the on-demand summer coaching experience is here. So I voice message my clients like all day, all the time. We text, we get on FaceTimes, like we just have so much fun over here or wherever we're located. And I love that. And I realized like, that's why I cannot go work for a network. Can I develop some shows for Bravo? Absolutely. I did some um, TikToks about that over the last couple of weeks. And do I need to be on a corporate content calendar? Mm, Maybe not. Maybe this is why I am exactly where I am now to show me like you. Oh my God, I'm like about to get emotional. (laughs) you have done so much like you have to be proud of yourself and just keep going because sometimes you hit these roadblocks and like for me right now it's like I have these huge pivotal moments in my personal life and in my professional career that are happening at the same time of course because it's mercury retrograde I've had so many technical issues over the past two weeks it's like insane and I'm like just deep breath deep breath when I was in Vegas oh my god we're gonna have to take another coffee cough break hold on (coughs) my window is shut and I probably have dust in here from moving everything around Ah, super coffee is the bomb don't forget by the way to leave your reviews so I can send you a case of super coffee um okay so thank god for my journal I did a 60-minute sound bath this morning from Susie, the copper vessel. If you're not following her, she completely changed my life when it comes to healing. And she's been on the show. So scroll back to that episode. She's incredible. She just had a little baby as well. Um, These things happen. Like, you are not going to get anything that you cannot handle. Did you think I was misdiagnosed for a reason? Like, do you think that I didn't you know, represent myself in six medical malpractice legal cases by myself because I couldn't handle it. I fucking handled that shit. You can handle anything that's coming your way. You just got to pivot and figure it out a different way when things get thrown your way and like a curveball kind of situation like my life has been recently. So I've been driving a lot. I've been escaping from You know, it's really hard to write and create when I'm not in my Zen space and my stuff has been packed up. I took my studio down and shit's just everywhere. And it's really hard for me to focus and write really good content when I'm not like in my bubble. So I can only do that for like a limited amount of time each and every day, like where I'm sitting right now, because my stuff is everywhere. And I just, I can't like focus 100%. I need to be back into like a Zen space and I have my oil diffuser on and I have my, excuse me, my incense burning. And it's just, it's not enough. I have my crystals out. It's just like, I need my new Zen space. And so I have two more shows I'm recording back to back. I know my doctor told me not to do that because of my vocal cords, but <sighs> I have rescheduled these shows like 17 times. Cheryl, if you're listening, I cannot wait to finally get these shows out. 
<laughs> but that's just life of a podcaster and somebody that has like voice issues now. But um, I'm excited to show you what's happening next. And I'm going to be documenting it all on my TikTok as well as the show. So stay tuned for that content coming your way. But I just wanted to do kind of like a little life recap and share with you like how I pivot when things don't work out, like what you need to do. And I journal shit out. I go for my walks. I sweat in the sauna. I just write over and over again like what I need to happen next. And then I literally visualize the shit out of it. And then if that doesn't work, something else is going to work out. So that's that. So between the manifesting not working out, the rejection from all the networks, the, um, what else did I mention? There's a million other things. I just realized at the end of the day, I'm here to do more. And that's why I added more value to all of my programs. And I'm just here to help more of you, whether it's with your business or in your personal life. Um, a couple of people have been contacting me to like help them organize their pantry and their office space. And I'm kind of down for that. So if you're in the San Diego area, I would love to help you with that. Like that is like my favorite pastime. I'm sure you know that about me, but, um, I take organization to like the next level. Like no one can mess with my organizing and scheduling skills. Let me just say that I'm like obsessed. Um, everything is color coded. It's labeled. It's, it's not as beautiful as the home edit because I don't have my fancy labels with the script and it's not really in a rainbow situation, the Roy G. Biv style, but I do and am and have always been obsessed with organizing and even in your business. So if that's what you need help with this summer, just getting organized, like let's just figure it out. And I like to make things fun. At the end of the day, shit needs to be fun because life is short and I was very lucky to get a second chance at life. And so I'm here to make more shit fun. So if you want to have more fun in your life, if you want to have more fun in your business and make a shit ton of money at the same time, let's work together. If you want to develop a show, if you need to figure out your LinkedIn situation, if you just want to learn how the fuck to use TikTok for your business, contact me. <laughs> I've sold more books on TikTok from just engaging, not even from my own posts. That goes to show you TikTok works. I'm so sick of Facebook. I'm so sick of Instagram, but Instagram decided to start paying me for my reels. So if you haven't noticed, that's why I went hard on reels. And money is money, and I like to create content, and they don't like that I share my TikToks over there, but the secret is you need to use SnapTik, I think what it, that's what it is, to take your watermark off to continuously share content. I'm extremely scheduled when it comes to my content. I do that for a reason, especially when things are getting ready to launch, and I just want to show you the ways if you need to learn them. So thank you for listening to today's episode. I just wanted to do like a little solo life update before my next guest comes on next week. And the episode after that, I think maybe I'll do another little life update because I'll be in my new place and I can't wait to share where. So in the meantime, make sure you leave a review for the show so that I can send you a case of super coffee. You have to screenshot and tag me online this week. I will announce the winner June 1st. Let's just say that. And that will give you like a couple days and it takes a, a couple more days after that to, um, like kind of reboot the system on Apple Podcasts. Usually it's 24 hours, but sometimes it's longer for me to actually see them. And then <coughs> one last cough and coffee break. Oh my God. Um, Make sure you do that so I can send you some delicious coffee. I would love to do that. And then um, share this episode with a friend. If you, think, if you think that they're going through something like I am and they need to just hear, like get your shit together, maybe you need to pivot yourself. Maybe this just wasn't in the cards, you know, I don't know. There's just so much going on in the world right now. And this is just like a little piece of me. So I know that just by sharing this, if I can help one person, like I'm here for a reason. But um, lastly, if you are looking for copies of my book, Everything is Messy, I have a couple more copies that are signed. If you're interested, just shoot me a message on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, wherever we're connected, LinkedIn. And let me know and I can send one to you in the mail this week. I think I have eight left on me, but I would love to do that. And I think that's it for today. So stay tuned for next week. I'm going to have a new guest on. And then the week after, I'll do another solo update from my new office and my new home. And I cannot wait. But again, I'm just here to provide value. And I hope that I did that for you today. And that's the whole purpose of this show. If you're interested in working together, please comment, not comment, hello, 
please check out the show notes because the links are there and we can get connected and get on a call and just figure things out. Like I'm here to do more and that's just my goal in life. The sun is shining. I'm about to go outside. I'm going to go clean my little car and figure out why the tire pressure keeps coming on because I just had to get new tires. That's another thing. Mercury retrograde is really pushing me this time, but that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to go leave your reviews over on Apple Podcasts. Screenshot tag me. I will send you a case of super coffee announcing the winners June 1st and share this with a friend who needs to hear it. That's it. Signing off. Have a great one. Thanks so much for tuning in to Kellyanne Cares, a one of a kind show created to motivate, stimulate, educate, and inspire you. And I hope that happened for you today. As I mentioned in the intro, I would love your feedback on today's episode. Head to Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or your favorite podcast app to leave a review for the show. I would truly appreciate it. For more information on myself, the show, my book, and the programs, products, and services I've created, visit KellyanneGorman.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter, join the podcast community, and check out the brands I'm currently loving. Let's continue today's conversation. You can connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Kellyanne Gorman Official. All my other social handles will be available for you in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service you would like to share on the show, send me a message on KellyanneGorman.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. I wouldn't be here without you, and I'm so grateful I get to do what I love each and every day. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon.